Welcome guys, this is Killer here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up an Elgato chat link. So I ran into an issue recently where I plugged in my headset to my PS4 controller and when I was recording on my Elgato capture card device, there was no game audio and I was wondering what was going on so I researched into this and found out that when you plug in a headset into the controller the PS4 directs all of the audio including party chat audio and game audio to the controller and stops sending audio through the HDMI and if you're not getting any audio through the HDMI then your Elgato capture card device is not going to be capturing any game audio or party chat audio as well. All of the PS4 audio is cut off because it's been redirected to the controller which is now playing through your headset. So you can hear it through the headset but your Elgato is not picking up on it. So when I researched into this I found out that you needed a Elgato chat link and I looked up how to set up an Elgato chat link for myself on Elgato's official YouTube channel and they missed a major step in the process, the, the last step of the process on what you need to do. So this is going to be a full and thorough uh, tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys exactly what you need to hook up and, and where everything needs to plug into. Alright, so I have the Elgato chat link itself right here. This is what it will look like. You have the splitter right here. So what you're going to want to do is you want to plug in the shorter end to into the, your controller. So see right here, you have the two other uh, cables right here. And this is the short end. So you want to plug this into your controller. So next you need to plug in your headset. So right here is the female end of the Elgato chat link. And this is what you're gonna, gonna wanna plug your headset into. Now typically, this is the part of the process where you would plug in the other male end of the Elgato chat link into the Elgato itself. But my setup, I have it where I the Elgato is a little further away from my controller and stuff. So I just have to run it through this extension cable right here. So you just plug it into the female end of your extension cable. So I know it sounds like I'm in a condensed box right here, but it's actually right under my desk where the Elgato is. And that is why the Elgato is dusty. But uh, for me, I have to plug in the male end of the extension cable right here into the Elgato but for a normal person they're just going to plug in the male end of the Elgato chat link right there so it's right here beside the HDMI to the left of it if you're having trouble locating that. To ensure that you're getting audio to the Elgato you need to turn up the game audio right here to 100 I am telling you because this was a step that they missed in the video. They didn't tell you that you had to turn up the audio on the Elgato software on your computer. And I thought I wasn't getting any output. And I really was, but you just couldn't hear it. So I figured out you had to turn it up. And then what you also need to do, go right here. And then we come over here to audio and make sure this is up to plus 12 to put it where it is at its loudest to make sure that you can hear it and then also this setting right here audio input it'll automatically go to HDMI audio but you need to set it to analog audio or this whole setup will not work so make sure it is set on analog audio and then you're good to go after verifying that the audio of the PS4 is outputting to the Elgato and to your headphones as well. You want to make sure it's going into your headset too. That is definitely a major step in the process. But after you know that you're getting audio in both places, I would recommend adjusting this game audio uh, because I had to adjust it because with games like Call of Duty, they are very loud and it will drown out your voice and your audience will not be able to hear you at all and 
you can go to this setting here that says automatically reduce game sound where it makes the game sound go quiet when you're talking but I personally have never liked this setting I do not like it but if you if that whatever floats your boat and you can also adjust your microphone volume though I wouldn't suggest going up too high on that because it begins to pick up on any kind of background noises so I would put that at a good volume where it doesn't pick up on too many things in the background but anyways that's going to do it for this tutorial i hoped it helped you uh if you guys did enjoy the video then please slap the like button subscribe for my gameplays that i do on the channel and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye